and on balm glam diy so so many times you go to the market and you see brown soap like this these are popular brown translucent soap or people call it kenu soap it's not that transparent but it is shiny it is glossy it is sparkling just like oils and we wonder how do they get these various shapes on their soap without the use of machine you can actually achieve these shapes and these designs on your soap do you know you can achieve these designs on your soap manually without having a plotter machine that will give you this desired shape so if you're a mini soaper yeah soaping at home you are using your tools at home to make your soap and course and you want them to have this very desirable market shape and make them look awesome and beautiful irrespective of the type of soap or recipe you use so that's what i'm here today to teach you how you can actually achieve these shapes there's actually a very a very simple a very i would call it very simple it's a very simple tool and most soapers already know about it it is actually called the groove it is it helps to give your shape groove lines and also trim your shape some people will call it trimmer so this is it i'm holding in my hands this groove or this soap trimmer is available for purchase and the price for it is 5000 naira for one you can buy it contact me with the number on the screen if you wish to purchase it if you can also make it yourself depending on your location please also do but if you are buying mini cutter set from me be sure that you have you see your own shaper or groover in your own set because it's included if you are buying the commercial table cutting set from me it is also in your table so you don't need to buy it extra but if you already have your cutting gears and you just want this shaper you can just contact me with the whatsapp number on the screen so that you can buy it so this is how you use it you need to carefully slide your soap across the edges of the the right angle edge of the of the trimmer that way it will help you to trim out the sharp edge of your soap making it to look more appealing and market friendly you can decide to actually shave all the eight sides of the soap or you can just do the long lines two on the right and two of the left and leave it that way but if you want it to have the shape of the imperial ladder soap just like the one i'm holding in my hands please feel free to continue shaping till all till you meet all the right sides of the of the soap that's four down four up making it eight complete sides of the soap this shaper or trimmer works with any size of soap you have even if it's big soap small soap long tablets mini bar soap the the long forms any type of and, and size of soap you have it is don't worry you can make use of it you understand so you just have to calm down and carefully trim your soap that way to make it more beautiful now when you take your soap to the market to sell it will actually look very presentable and very beautiful so even if you are not packaging your soap in nylon and you leave it this way naked yes it will make a little bit sense but i always suggest to soapers nylon is not expensive to buy package your product it boosts your product and it will also give you a higher bargaining power than selling naked soap but if you're already used to naked soap no wala. now let's compare the grooved the trimmed soap and the untrimmed soap i'm placing the two right beside each other so that you can just use your eye to spot the difference you can see the one that is trimmed is already having this imperial ladder baiting soap kind of shape compared to the other one that is not trimmed This is how the final appearance looks like in case you should stack it together it makes your soap beautiful it beautifies your soap it just takes your soap to the next level if you are just starting to make soap you are just imputing in your first money and you have a very tiny income to start up soap making please do well to just ignore but those who are already into commercial production of soap that is already pushing out into the market may need it so that they can be able to compete with their partners.
now this is another shape this the people normally call this one groove lines uh bam glam do you have the one that will give me that groove lines that is like company soap like i said the soap i'm holding in my hand looks like the normal factory made uh, brown soap that is made with uh, red palm oil but i will shock you that this soap i didn't make it with red palm oil by the way so this is how this group soap looks like it normally have this indented shape by the by the side it helps soapers to be able to reduce the size of the soap it looks big on the outside but inside it it is actually smaller in the middle that way soapers tend to end more soap because after grooving out this soap they may remelt it or or if it's the people that are using machine they may send it back to the machine you understand and make more soap out of it for people who don't have machine they normally remelt it or mold it into round balls and sell it differently uh, there is nothing inside soap making that is a waste everything inside soap is money because it's your money you use in making it this is a very high quality grade of soap this is not the normal normal uh, receipts this is a very high quality grade of soap that is why it's looking this beautiful you can see how i did the design i just slided it by the two sides and then i got the beautiful groove designs by the side so if you are buying this groove uh, from me or trimmer from me you are sure to receive it and it will be able to give you trim the side and also give you groove shapes you can also groove your soap in this way just watch closely and see how i'm doing this some soaps in the market even imported ones normally have this shape and you'll be wondering how did they come about this beautiful shape on their soap this is how it is being done locally or manually with machines the machine already comes with this kind of nozzles to 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 be able to bring the soap out in these shapes but if you want to make it at home you are making your soap at home and you want to achieve this design you need this groover this my this my tiny uh, equipment so that you can be able to achieve this very beautiful design is it not very beautiful now the soap just went from like a zero to hundred percent immediately instantly it's just as if we just made a very beautiful ashoke for this soap can you see how beautiful it is now?